Hello, and welcome to Unit 1 of Kickstart's first Swift lesson. So, what this unit will review is what is Swift and how to get started. So, please just answer this. Have you used Swift before? Um, so, what is Swift? Swift is a programming language made by Apple, and what you can do with Swift is you can make apps that's its main design well, so that's what it was designed for so you can make ios apps or you can make mac apps but you won't be able to make android apps which is a downside but it works really well when making ios apps and you use swift in xcode which is a program and you can only use swift in xcode but xcode can be used for different languages such as c plus plus two um and so if you want to make an iOS app, Swift is a great option to help you um, make it and get started. It's also an object-oriented program language. So it's a good introduction language to get started with, too. Um, so how to get started. So you have to have a Mac that runs 10.13.6 if you'd like to um, use the latest version of Xcode, um, which is what I will be using, but you don't necessarily have to use that, but your screen and your Xcode will most likely not look the same as mine. So I recommend that you update to it. And I also recommend that you like use a computer with at least um, four gigs of RAM and eight gigs of RAM is recommended. Um, these Xcode uses a lot of RAM um so yeah let's get started so all you have to do is just go to the app store and search up xcode and you sh it'll download once you click this but i already have it downloaded it's a pretty big program it's four gigabytes so it'll take a while to download um so you can pause the video and just come back to it later And you can obviously only run this on um, Apple computers, such as the MacBook or iMac or really any Apple computer. Um, but so it does not run in Windows. Um, so you could, if you don't have a Mac, you could look at the videos and just learn about it. Or there's other alternatives such as VMware and that type of stuff. But until you get access to it, you won't be able to actually develop in Xcode. So I will go through the basics of Xcode and how to use it so you guys get familiarized with it. Um, so once you click Xcode, it'll open up and you want to create a new Xcode project. So um, there's multiple options. So you can see there's iOS options and you can make a game, an augmented reality app and various different options. Um, there's also watchOS, tvOS, macOS, and cross-platform, although we're going to be working with single-view apps for now. So this is an example app, so I'm going to click next, and click type, type an example app. And uh, yeah, you can just, you don't have to copy my settings, but you should just click next, and then just create. Okay, so I'll, I'll briefly go over some of the different files that are in in your app. And there's still a lot to learn. I'm just going to go over the very basic things and your understanding of Xcode and what everything means will, um, will your understanding will become greater as I go throughout the course. So if you don't understand what everything is now, it's fine because I'll explain it later. So if you click this, this is just like the main like you like where you set the display name, the bundle identifier, which I'll talk about that later. And these are just like the basic settings of your app, like and whether you want like portrait, upside down, or landscape, or what you allow it to that. It's just basic things, and I'll get into all this stuff later when it is needed. 
and next going on to the app delegate file so what this file does is it basically deals with functions when the app is like starting up or closing down um yeah as you can see application will terminate to become active so when the application um like has to do with when the application like shuts down or like is in the background or that type of stuff and the view controller is the code segment which you will mainly be using so this is what you connect your storyboard to um so i'll show you right here this is your storyboard and this is basically what your app will look like now you don't necessarily have to use the storyboard but since we're in the beginning and you guys are beginners most likely um, we'll be using it so you could just click this and if you type in a label you could get a label down here and you can you can type in anything you want like hello um, and you can type it in here too and you could also connect it do it programmatically so once you click this button that I just click right here, it will, this is the view controller, the code connect, this is like the code segment assigned to the storyboard. So you can connect this label to the code by just hitting control and then dragging it here. So one time again, you want to hit this, then hit control on your keyboard and then from here, click and drag so you can this is what you can label the outlet anything you want but just make sure it's an outlet and not an outlet collection and so just make it called label label um, hello and now it's connected and you could and to the code now you could programmatically change the text so you can do say l label hello whoops label hello dot text and then you could set it equal to a string for example such as hello and then so this right here is where you test the apps and there are many devices to simulate your app on, but we're just going to choose like the X. And as you can see, there's nothing here. There's no text and it'll show up once you run it and you just click the play button and it'll take, since it's not open yet, it'll take a few seconds to launch the simulator up. But once it's launched, it usually loads pretty fast once you just redownload your app onto the simulator. Okay, so you can see it loaded up and it'll just take a few seconds to launch. Okay, let's Oh, I think we need some constraints. So, just to introduce you quickly to constraints. Uh, constraints, basically, they sound what they are. They constrain the certain button objects to certain parts in the, in the screen. So, it'll be 209 to the right, and then 166 to the left, and 323 between the label and the top, and yeah use that and it also needs to be bigger probably too. actually I'm going to delete the constraints because okay so now it should pop up on the screen hello 
because the label was too small before. So as you can see, hello did pop up. Um, yeah, so you just have to make sure the label is big enough. I, I made a minor mistake there. Um, so yeah, um, hope you enjoyed the video and um, thank you for watching. So in the next lessons, what we will be doing is we're going to make a dictionary app. So it's a very basic dictionary app, but this will help you grasp the concepts of a few different necessary things in Swift. Um, and it's going to be an offline dictionary and you'll be able to add your own words. And this app will be worked on for not just next lesson, but like it'll maybe take two or three lessons to complete it. Um, so tell me what would you like to accomplish in this course? What skills you'd like to get better on? And thank you.